Hello, mathematicians, and welcome to 4.6 Percent of Change. Our essential question today is how do I calculate the percent of change? Go ahead and grab your needed supplies, your writing utensil, your math notebook, a growth mindset, and some determination. As we tackle our learning goal, I can calculate the percent of change. So what kind of problems are is this going to help us solve? Well, here is what percent of change is that might give you an idea of what kind of problems we're going to be solving. It's the percentage that something either increases or decreases. So something either gets better or it goes down. Maybe it gets worse. For example, Thomas scored 12 points in his first basketball game. In his second game, he scored 18 points. Calculate the percent of change. So we're going to calculate how much better Thomas did in that second game. What percentage did he increase? We have a formula, and it is the amount of change divided by the original amount, and we take all of that, so we're going to put it in parentheses, and that's going to give us a decimal, so we're going to multiply that by 100 to get our percent, because we know percent means out of 100. So here we go. Here's our problem back. Thomas, again, scored 12 points in that first game, 18 in the second. We're going to calculate the percent of change. So step one is to find the amount of change. What's the difference? How much did his point change? Well, in this case, they went from 18 to 12. And then we're going to divide that by the original, the very first points he scored, which in this case is 12. Now we're just going to work through our problem following our order of operations. So we're going to do 18 minus 12, which is 6, and then we have our 12. Now we can do 6 divided by 12, which is 0 0.5, multiply that by 100, and we get a 50% increase. Because if you go from 12 to 18, that's increasing, that's getting better. Let's try another one. Let's take a look at Bridget and how she did on her quizzes. She answered 14 questions correct on her final attempt, which is much better than her first attempt where she only answered eight. Calculate the percent of change. So again, how much did her score change? Well, it's a difference between 14 and eight. We're going to divide that by the original. What was her first attempt? You got it. It's eight points or eight questions the first attempt. 14 minus 8 is 6. We're going to do 6 divided by 8, which is 0 0.75. We're going to multiply that by 100 to turn it into a percent, and that means she increased 75%. What happens, though, when it doesn't get better, when it's not an increase? Let's take a look at Samantha. She earned $42.50 in tips on her first day at her new job. On her second day, she earned $38. Calculate the percent of change. Everything's going to be the same. We're still going to find the amount of change. What's the difference between $42.50 and $38? And we're going to divide it by the original number, her tips on that first day, which is $42.50. $42.50 minus $38 is 4 and a half. Divide that by $42.50. It is a very long decimal. I've chosen to round it here, 0 0.1, or cut it off rather. I didn't round it. 0 0.1058. Multiply that by 100. And here I did round it to get a 10.6% decrease. She went down. She made less on her second day. So that, mathematicians, is all there is to finding percent of change. Let's go ahead and give a shout out to Amy Grosbeck, Amanda Newsom, and Wright Lovely for their amazing fonts and clip arts. Mathematicians, go forth and be amazing.